Alright, what's going on YouTube? Today we got a special review of the Nike Adapt BB. I'm going to give you guys a review, an on-foot look at the Nike Adapt BB. This is Nike's brand new self-lacing basketball shoe. I'll let you guys see what's in the box, see some of the features, take an up-close look at the shoe, and get you guys an on-foot look of how it looks on feet. Alright, so right before we get into the review, just want to mention real quick, um, if you're new to the channel, just want to let you guys know what's going on with my channel here. Uh, I do on feet videos of all the new releases that come out. I do my best to try and get all the new shoes for you guys to see. I specialize in on feet videos, so come to my channel, check out what all the new releases look like on feet. I'll do a little bit of a little bit of reviews for them, but mainly just focus on the on foot portion. Uh, let you guys see what they look like, see some of the specs of the shoe in the box. Like I said, it's a lot of the new releases, so you know, let me know in the comments what kind of shoes you guys want to see in the future. February is a big month. March is going to be big. The rest of 2018. So lots of shoes, lots of on-foot videos. Um, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, let's get into it. Nike Adapt. All right, so for starters here, we'll take a look at the box. Show you guys the, uh, the size tag here, the label. So we got Nike Adapt BB in black reflective silver. Retail price at $350. Got some barcode information for you guys. Uh, also comes with this sticker. Not exactly sure what it is. Um, E-A-R-L. Typical box, Nike logo. Up at the top, we have a handle. Nike Adapt Earl BB, Nike Swoosh again. Around on the side, we have the two uh, circles that are reminiscent of the side of the shoe. Uh, illuminated in blue, the whole box is kind of black and blue. Not much going on in the back of the box. Plain kind of dark blue, uh, black design. The other side of the box, also the same two blue circles that we saw on the other side. Bottom of the box, also not a whole lot going on, just more of the same blue-black design. Alright, so if we slide off the outer shell of the box, it is the whole outer part in a kind of cube with the part for the handle. The handle then pops up here, and you have the inner part of the box. In terms of design, basically the same, all black. Got a Nike swoosh over there, got the handle. Only difference here that we see is on the sides has a, um, well, first it says electro adaptive reactive lacing, and it's got a little pull tab. Same for the other side. And I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second here. Once we have those pull tabs off, as I showed, the box slides up to the shoes on the charging pad. Really clean design. On the inside, we have the Nike tissue paper that I took off the off the shoes that were originally wrapped. The flash is on, so you see the, the swoosh with the 3M right there. But that's how they look fresh out of the box. All right, so beyond that, take the shoes off, and you see the charging pad. So the charging pad is here. And show you guys what's next below that. First you see the, well, it's a little hard to see, but there's a Nike swoosh and the two, uh, two same circle design that we saw. All right, so off comes the plastic and revealed is the full charging pad itself. Underneath that, we get a little pouch with is which, what I believe to be the charging cord. Underneath that, you get a little reading material. I'll open that up for in a sec. A little booklet we see here, nike.com slash earl. Just some basic information on how the shoe works. Um, so, yeah, you guys can see there. You guys can pause the video to read that, but it shows about battery level and how to charge, getting started, uh, some FAQ. There's some other pages too, but that's pretty much the main, main info there. Charging pad itself is just plain black with that design I said earlier. On the other side, you got some little notches for... Uh, uh, for keeping it in place, got some more reading material over here. Nike Adapt Charger 1.0, pretty cool. And then it appears like the charging port is right there. So let's open up the charger next, see what we're looking at. All right, inside the package right here is the charging cord. So pretty standard. I'll get that plugged in soon, let you guys see what that's going to look like. All right, so now we got the charging cord in. Shoes are on the charger, and it is really cool. 
the uh, the colors are flashing to let you know that it's charging on both shoes. So pretty cool design. Let's you guys know that the shoes are charging. All right, so now we've got most of the shoe covered. We got most of the box. Uh, they're charging up right now. So now I'll give you guys a little overview of what the shoe itself looks like. So on the outer of the shoe, you got the Nike swoosh within another Nike swoosh, basically. You got the charging cord or the uh, the charging icon right there. Got a nice design in the midsole. Going out to that icy bottom that I'll show you guys in a second. You got three uh, or four four dots leading back there off the Nike swoosh. On the front of the shoes, we have the Nike swoosh on one one shoe, Nike branded on the other. More of these circle designs that we keep seeing all throughout the box and the shoes. Um, no, no real tongue. Very, very much like a sock liner kind of deal. Um, I do feel some components, like something, something in here, not just mesh. Um, obviously, got to be the the mechanism that tightens the shoes. Um, so we'll take a closer look at that soon. On the other side, I just turned on the flash, let you guys see what that looks like again. Uh, but same deal as the other side. Then finally to the back. Not a whole lot going on. Got a little uh, notch here. Um, similar design. Got the Nike swooshes on the back. Overhead view, that's kind of what we're looking at if you were to look down at your feet. Right now they had these uh, shoe inserts that came with the shoes. I'll show you guys the insoles in a sec. Here is the inside of the shoe. Another Nike swoosh there. Same midsole design. Icy bottom. Pretty clean. Now here are the icy bottoms. You guys see here, you got the circles for traction. You got the blue design. They look pretty good. Now for the insides of the shoe, awesome design. Have the color combinations that are visible on the outside. R for right, L for left. Pretty self-explanatory. Looks like we've got another shoe insert on the inside. And then on the tongue, we see E-A-R-L with some more circles on the insides of both shoes. For the size tag, it's a little, a little hard to see there, but that's where it is on the shoe. And it looks like there's another barcode on the inside similar to the outside of the box. So not exactly sure what that's for. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Actually, here's another, there's another view of the uh, size tag there. So we'll get into the on foot very shortly. All right, so this is what it looks like with the uh, the lights on. They actually just turned off. Uh, staying paired is a little tough when I switch apps. I'm just recording this on my iPhone now, but uh, I'll try and get some more uh, shots for you guys. Now I'll just switch to purple.
the uh, Nike Adapt BB. You guys saw what they look like on feet. Give you guys a little overview. Um, it's honestly a really cool shoe. Uh, throughout the whole process of making this video, did have a few problems with uh, the app. It connects via Bluetooth. I put on some of the uh, e info for you guys to see of what it looked like on my iPhone when I was doing it. Um, so overall, not a, not a bad process. The shoes feel really good on feet. Honestly, they're comfortable, they're light. They feel locked in when the, uh, when the shoes fully lace themselves. Um, so honestly, very cool shoe. I'm surprised and very, very happy with the turnout. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, you know, like, comment, or subscribe goes a long way. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below the shoes. If you guys picked them up, if you're looking to pick them up in the future, uh, if, you, if you hit on the pre-orders, if you missed out, let me know. You know, let's uh, see what's going on. But yeah, thanks again for watching and subscribe for more on feed videos. Um, lots of new content coming soon. Lots of new videos coming up with lots of new shoes coming out. So thanks guys. See you on the next one.